Okay, so here I just wanted to run through my process of setting up a green screen and then masking it out in Final Cut Pro 10. So um, just so you know, the equipment that I'm using for my green screen um, is one of these inexpensive video studio lighting kits. Okay, um, and I'm shooting um, with a Canon XA20. So once that footage is all shot um, and set up, um, I bring it into Final Cut Pro and using a couple of tools in Final Cut Pro um, to set up the, the green screen. Okay, and that's what we're going to run through now. We're going to look at how we set up the keying for the green screen and then also how we mask out um, things that you can see here, such as the microphone, which I've placed uh, close to my mouth here so that you get a nice sound. Um, but obviously once it's uh, in the shot here, we need to get rid of it. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do um, with this footage is um, put a generator underneath it so we can have a backdrop for our footage. So I'm going to come to my generators across here in the Final Cut Pro interface, okay? And I'm just going to grab this industrial generator, okay? So it's just a basic background, and you can use your own image as long as it's set up for the right resolution um, if you want, but we're just going to use the built-in background for the moment, okay? So I'm just going to stretch that out a little bit and then come here and pull my video up and over the top of that backdrop. And we'll line these up so they're the same length. Okay, so once that's set up, um, we're going to go ahead and look at how we add the key in Final Cut Pro. And I'm just going to cover a couple of uh, quick things as we kind of go ahead and manipulate this. So the first thing we need to do is go to the effects button across here on the right hand side. Okay, and we're going to come to the, the keying or color keying options here. Okay, and we'll drag on the keyer. So this is set up for a green screen by default. So as soon as I drop that on, it's going to drop out the, the green screen, okay? And you can see I've got the green screen on there, but there's some artifacts here uh, from the backdrop, and also the mic is still in shot. So we're going to look at how we modify the settings um, for the green screen uh, to improve this. So I'm going to go to Window and Show Inspector, which is where I can find the options, my green screen key, and I'm looking for the key option up here, okay? So a couple of things I can do. I can sample different bits of the color for my Kia, um, but actually for the green screen, the, the sample should be pretty good. Um, and I'm not too worried about these artifacts up here away from the shot because I'm gonna key these out um, using a, a mask in a little bit. So we're not too worried about those. Uh, the one thing we would be worried about is any holes in the actual image itself and, and the edges around my shirt. Okay, so in order to see the kind of quality of the mask, I'm going to jump this composite mode here, the middle one, which shows me the black and white image. Okay, so we can see straight away here, for instance, that on my glasses here on the left and right, um, we have a little bit of reflection. Okay, so there's going to be a little bit of transparency there. So what we want to do is increase the contrast um, and fill the holes um, for this mask. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down here and look for the, the fill holes option, okay? And when I'm viewing uh, my key, I want to see the, the actual quality of the image. So I'm going to jump to 100% as I'm doing this and just navigate up so I can see the edge of the glasses here. And I'm going to scroll to the right here and you should see that with a little bit of adjustment, those holes are filled, okay? Uh, the other thing I want to do as well is just sharpen up the edge um, here a little bit too, okay? So I'm going to go to the mat tools here and I'm going to adjust the levels a little bit. So I'm going to increase the, the contrast around the edge of those levels. So in order to do this, I'm going to turn back on the view so I can see those edges, okay? And you'll see as we drag this to the right here, we're sharpening up those edges a little bit. Okay, and you can play around with those. It depends on the, the kind of quality um, of your green screen as to whether you need to do that and whether you need to use things like spill suppression. So if we see any green uh, kind of halos around the edge here, um, then we might need to use some spill suppression, which is going to basically add some pink or magenta around the edge to kind of counteract the green. Okay, so if we drag this right back, you can see with the spill suppression set to zero, I've got some green around the edges here. And as I pull that up, then it's removed um, by adding uh, that spill suppression on, okay? We can also uh, do things like shrink our mask as well, which is going to tighten things up a little bit, or expand it, which is going to expand um, that too. Um, for this, I think we're going to leave it at zero. It's looking pretty good at zero, nice and sharp around the edges, even when we're zoomed in at 100%, okay? 
So I'll just move around and have a little check around the edge here and see what it looks like. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to go back to zoom and get this to fit. And then we're going to add the mask in here. So we're going to go to masks and we're using the draw mask here. Drag this on to this image. Okay. And now we get this message to add control points. And basically what we're doing is we're masking out this microphone on the right hand side here. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so I can see the edges here. So I can jump down here. And I'm trying to stay away from the very edge of this image. I'm trying to stay away from the, the edge of the person here just so that as I move my arms a little bit, um, I don't jump to the edge of that that mask and kind of chop off my arm or something like that okay so you can keep an eye on that yourself and you can also animate these as well so if you have more complex masking to do on a green screen then you can animate these points if they they need to be moved um, throughout a shoot okay so now if we click away from the mask we can see we've got a nice green screen here and then the next thing we might do is go to color and just add in a little bit more contrast um, in some parts of this image okay so I'm using the color board here under the color correction and if we jump in there we can do things like reducing the exposure of the midtones here just to kind of make this uh, t-shirt a bit blacker and then we can also pump up the whites as well to kind of give a bit more contrast to the the overall image okay Depends how much detail you want in parts of your image. We can also work on the saturation as well. So we could desaturate the darker areas of the image as well. So the black seems like a, a purer black. And then we could also boost the saturation of other parts of the image here as well. Okay. So this is how to add a basic uh, color key and mask um, to mask out a green screen.